8.30 tonight. While a day in the life of a wedding planner now on BBC Two as East meets Sharma the Charmer to find out what price can be put on an Asian wedding. Asian weddings are said to be worth as much as 300 million pounds a year in the UK. There's an army of professionals waiting to help you go one bigger, one better. I'm one of these guys, I'm very fair people. I don't want to overcharge them so they feel, you know, I've turned them over or I've, I've taken their money away because they don't want to spend. Families are handing over the organising to people like Ashok Sharma a coordinator extraordinaire who is determined to get his slice of the cake. What's the most thing I supply is, is the two chairs for the bride and groom to get engaged on. The largest things we can supply is everything for the wedding, from marquees to table, chairs, furniture, caterers, property cutlery, you know, outdoor lighting. We can do the whole, the whole wedding for them. Most of Ashok's business is supplying marquees and also mandaps, the centerpiece of the Hindu ceremony. Welcome to my office. Let's go for the day. Okay, so you're quite happy with this setup, yeah? Yeah, the setup's lovely. Ashok's meeting Tina to finalize the details of her wedding. Although everything's agreed, Ashok's not too shy to offer that little bit extra. So they're nice. Maybe you get your um, other half to have a look at the white horse. You can come arrive on a white horse. A white horse? Yeah. <laughs> you think he'd be up for this? <laughs> he'd be up for it. Yeah? Yeah, he'd okay. be up for anything. Best thing you do is give him my phone number. I don't know, isn't that a bit, a bit OTT? No, no, no. It's no? Nice. It's traditional, isn't it? I know it's traditional. It's like, but... it's like the, the prince coming to marry his princess. Where would you get your horse from? We have our own horses. Really? Yeah. You've got your own stable somewhere? Yes, we have, yes. I'm You're serious. joking. We have. <laughs> we do, got uh, an elephant? Elephant, yes. <laughs> elephant, we can get an elephant for you. Anything else you want? Uh, no. In 60s and 70s Britain, Asian weddings were much smaller affairs. Well, it's uh, now the third generation of the Asians. Um, people are now are more, say, modern, they want to spend money, they want to actually make the day happen. People can spend anything from £20,000 to um, a quarter of a million pounds. Um, obviously, nothing is cheap these days. The venues are very expensive, the caterers are um, quite expensive these days. And all the other um, things that go, go around the wedding are all costing a lot of money these days. A man like Sharma the Charmer needs to stay ahead of the game, so he's always checking out the latest wedding trends and the potential markups. Well, this, this, for instance, this would be anything from sort of 300 upwards, depending on how big you want, because what we actually do is we put a lot of shellfish, a lot of fruit that actually gets served in that, and it's really, this particular model here is really great for sort of banqueting purposes. The question I want to ask you is, how much of the business do you do for the Asian weddings? Well, three years ago, we, we'd actually take three orders a year, believe it or not. Okay. It's only literally sort of three years down the line now. We actually, we, for instance, this Saturday, we've actually got five of them. Okay, yeah, Stephen, this is all good. I, I, I like this um, hand carve. Okay. What's the biggest thing you've done for um, Indian wedding or Asian wedding? Well, what we've actually done is, it's an actual 10 to 15 foot ice wall, and it's actually got the couple's picture behind it, and we've actually done it with an acetate, and we can actually freeze it in the actual ice wall itself. Hello? Ashok regularly flies to India to source supplies for weddings in the UK. Whether it's decorations for his horses or materials for his mandaps, he's always armed with a strategy for getting the best possible price. I will walk to the shops as a, a local person, and I will speak in local language only. 
I'm not trying to speak any English with the people. So that way, they believe I'm local and they will talk local prices with me. As well as bargain hunting, Ashok also gate crashes weddings. Obviously, yeah, when I was in India, I do um, go to weddings. I will walk into a wedding and look at what they're supplying. Maybe take a few photographs, something I like. It's the big day. Ashok is the first on the scene with his sons and nephews, transforming a hotel function room into a marriage scene by erecting his mighty manda. His Ganesh from India will take pride of place. Put it around here. I'll get some petals from the lady. Ashok and his boys are suited and booted, just in time to watch Tina and Amit take their walk around the sacred fire. <laughs> well, years of experience, I know exactly where to find her. Yeah, she'll probably be sitting on the top table. And I'm sure she's got a seat for me there as well. <laughs> As the guests enjoy the hospitality laid on by Mr. and Mrs. Roy, they settle Ashok's bill. How many people? For Ashok, it's business as usual. Um, the best thing to do is, if I came to see you, I'd look at the site, and then maybe we can tell you what the best size we can fit there. Guideline, that sort of size, you're looking at about £2,000. Expensive? No, it's not expensive at all. If you'd like to ask Ashok Sharma a question about the wedding business, you can chat to him now via BBC I at bbc.co.uk slash Asian Life.